Hello gang, um, Colin here, been a bit, because as you know I don't like to just throw a bunch of videos up for the sake of throwing videos up, plus I spend a lot of my time watching your videos, which is much more fun to me than making my videos. But I thought I'd come on today and talk about a couple things that have happened in the last couple of weeks regarding the pipe hobby for me. And by regarding the pipe hobby for me, I mean they will probably have zero impact on your lives, but I appreciate you being here to listen to me talk about them. Bought my first Meerschaum this morning. Not sure how I feel about it. I've decided recently that I can't stand cobs. I don't know why. I'm not dogging cobs, talking jive about them. They irritate me. I don't know why. They're just not my thing. I have some. I'll probably smoke them again. I just don't like them. Looking for something else, something different. Meerschaum comes to mind. Seen some fantastic shapes and uh, looks and found one that I liked. Um, bought it this morning. Did a little haggling on the interwebs. Good old Evil Bay. So that should be here in a bit. I will show it to Yins when it gets here. Um, but I'm interested in that. I'm interested in a new experience in uh, uh, the philosophical side, I think. Um, even more so than just the standard piping with, uh, with the Meerschaum. And you'll understand when you see what I got. I got a figural um, I wanted a Reagan one. The only Reagan one I could find out there is about 600 bucks, and that's just not going to happen. As much as I am a huge fan of the Reagan. Here's an interesting tale for you. This is how bad the hobby has gotten for me. By bad, I mean not really bad, but a little awkward. I have my first accidental tobacco purchase. You're sitting there going, what's an accidental tobacco purchase? Well, my friend Eastern Grey, Alec, posted a Facebook picture of a Sillum's blend. I believe Commodore Flake is eluding me right now. I think that's it. I, of course, immediately raced to find said Commodore Flake because every suggestion that Alec has given me thus far has been pretty damn tasty. I load a card up at card. I didn't load a card up. There's my word F up of the day. I load my cart, my cart up on the interwebs at Cup of Joe's. I'm moving my tobacco. What I usually do is run a cart at every store. And when I find tobaccos, I put them in there. And then later on, I go back and find them cheaper and buy them at another store or put them in a cart at another store. So I load a cart up. In this instance, my cart's a little bit expensive. Not a lot. I think it's like 60 bucks, 55 bucks. I move my cart to the edge of purchase, where all I need to do is work the magical finger, is take the moose and push the button, but I don't want to do that. Somehow that account is linked. I move it to the future pull the trigger. Next thing I know, an email pops up and I go, huh, let me go look at this email, wonder what it is. Thank you for your purchase. I make a purchase. This guy talking about. Sure as shit. I made a purchase. So I got a couple of gel pieces. I got a couple of tins of the Commodore Flake, one of which I'm cellaring, which means I've thrown in a big plastic box that's in my dining room on top of a cabinet. And I also got the uh, pieces. Uh, as I said, I got a couple of pieces. I had to pee. Z Uh, I got the Virginia Cream. A little leery of that one. Everybody seems to love it, so I got it. I'll try it at some point. That may be one I put in my cobs. I always, I usually put errors in my cobs. So, be careful. The internet is dangerous. The interwebs will take you over. You will buy shit that you did not intend to buy. You'll enjoy it when you get it. You'll have to explain to your wife, who just happens to be off on the day that it's delivered to your house, why you've gotten yet another box of tobacco. But in the grand scheme of things, it all worked out okay. Las Vegas Pipe Show is going on right now. 
my friend Caps Piper posted a video this morning talking about going to the Nashville Pipe Show next year. Uh, Joe Case is always pushing, not pushing, that's a shitty way to say that, is always encouraging us to go in a fun Joe Casey kind of way. I'd like to get there too. I'd like to get to a pipe show. I haven't even been to a semi-local one. I live outside of Annapolis in Maryland. I don't know where the closest one is. I have to imagine there's some in Virginia since they seem to grow some tobacco there. Maryland used to be tobacco. I won't even get into that. Well, yes, I will. Not so much anymore. Not only do we not get into it, but apparently we've suddenly come to hate it in this state. Anyhow, I'd like to go to a show sometime, so uh, I'm going to keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm going to commit to going to one next year. Uh, maybe more than one, but at least starting off simple at one. My next thingy of the day. Um, on this dreary, dreary... I'm looking out the window. I always have the window behind you, which you've seen out of before in previous videos. The bay down there. Looking forward to those leaves falling off that tree right there so I can actually see the bay again out my window. Um... Plus, my turps don't play till 3.30, so I got some time to make a video. Uh, Learn an interesting lesson. Uh, I've seen some videos before talking about it, and there may be a fix for it, but I want to share it with you so that hopefully it lends some information to your ears other than watch out for the interwebs. I have bought a couple of estate pipes. I just showed you a video recently of my Stanwell 124 Gold Accent. Or, uh, um, gold contrast, I think it's what it's called. I loaded it with a bowl this past week. It smokes like a charm, just like my other 124. Uh, I love it. This one showed it to you on a video. Here's the interesting point that I've learned. I've got two pipes I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see that. I'll bet you can see that. Now, when I got this, it was the stem was beautiful black beautiful black. I'm even going to do the hand for this one because we'll see if that helps even more because this is a point that I'm trying to make. I lit this bowl. I puffed on it for three to five minutes. I took it out of my mouth. I was in my truck. I tend to smoke in my truck on my way to work. Don't tell my wife. Well, she probably knows because she's seen me. Oh, well. That is what my stem appeared. So whatever was done to the stem worked long enough for me to say, God, look how good that stem looks for an estate pipe. That's great. That quickly that. Now I've watched videos on oxidation. So I'm going to assume that's a vulcanite. I could be wrong. It could be an acrylic. I don't know. I'm not an expert. As long as it feels okay in my mouth and smoke comes out of it, I am super duper happy. I don't know how to fix that short of getting a new stem or cosmetically altering it again so that it looks pretty till I light up another bowl. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I'm not a pipe guy. I am, well, I am a pipe. What the fuck? What am I talking about? I'm not a pipe maker, fixer-upper guy. Here's my other, one of my other favorites. And I've smoked the hell out of this. So I even bought replacement stems for this one. This is another estate that I got. This is my Savinelli Deluxe. I would assume you can also see that there. I'm going to do the hand again. Now, I smoked this one, so the chatter up here is my fault for my teeth. I just smoked this one yesterday because I love it. But you can see the oxidation on that. I've seen people make them beautiful, and they show them to you. And I don't know how we change the color of plastic once it becomes not black. Are we cosmetically altering it? And I'm going to keep watching videos and keep trying to figure it out. But And I've tried to do that. I've tried to follow some of the techniques. But to me, as long as it smokes, it's not really a big thing. I've given up on the rubber softy bits for most of my pipes because I realize, you know what? These are my pipes, and I'm not collecting to collect them. I mean, I am collecting the hell out of them, but I'm not collecting to put them up in a museum. And, you know, that's why I have my picture of Reagan smoking a pipe. That's my, hey, look at that. I want to smoke my pipes and I'm going to age, you know, they're going to age and they're going to break and they're going to smell like shit and they're going to, you know, chip and dent and all that crap. Um, but it bothered me that I bought those and so quickly. And that, that same thing happened to that, uh, to that Savinelli Deluxe. Uh, that same problem when I first early started smoking on it, um, it just turned over. So maybe some thoughts from you guys on how I fix that or maybe I shouldn't care. And I probably don't really care because, again, they smoke well. 
these are two of my better smokers. This, this, I love this. This, this Seven LA Deluxe, and these I think were made in the seventies. Um, I actually managed to find a stem that sort of fits it, but it doesn't work right. So I just put this one back on, and I keep smoking, and I love it. But that's a, a thought for you guys when you're buying your estate pipes. Be aware that could happen. They're not going to stay museum quality. They look great in the pictures. Uh, rumor has it there's a couple of eBay sellers who I won't get into. Uh, I've actually bought one pipe from one of them who show glossy, gorgeous stems in their pictures, and then you get them and you go... And I'm working on Photoshop on my desk right now, not for pipe pictures, but for pictures of my children from the Outer Banks on our vacation. So I can brighten them off a little bit. But I hear that that's happening too. Now that didn't happen to these sellers. I'm not bombing these sellers at all. If you're watching this, I love the pipes I got from you guys. But I don't understand the stems. I'm going to work on that. Again, part of the learning process. So I ask you guys if you have any thoughts on what I can do. Let me know. Um, I appreciate it. I'm not disgruntled. I love my pipes. So that does it for me. A little bit after 11 minutes. I uh, hope you all are doing well. I'll I'll put up another video when my Meerschaum gets here and try and put some other thoughts into it and questions and feelings and, you know, general me on video. My beard's coming back. You guys okay with that? Makes me happy. Bradley, I'm sad that you shaved yours off, by the way. Anyhow, you guys take care. Good seeing you. See you soon. Pushable.